as we continue to suffer under the Lord's watchful eyes. These unfading spectres cast from hell wade through our streets, as they have done all these long months. And what will the cost? How many have been seized by fear and death in this age? How we will become victims to horror? We have seen and heard the cries of honest folk. Our farmers, who work to find their livestock slaughtered. Our neighbours who refused to leave their homes after the spectre appeared at the doorstep. Our children, who shriek from the sight of the creature in the dark of the night. And those no longer with us, succumb by fear. The Constable Reginald Davies, the humble Quincy Millwood, survived by his son Thomas. The revered George Smith, survived by his wife Frances. Such a threat can be tolerated no longer. As of tonight, you are eyes and ears of our constabulary. You will patrol the streets and the surrounding fields as we do, taking note of any unusual activities. If you spot a spectre, I urge you, do not engage. While we cannot guarantee your safety, I thank you for your valiance and courage. Please, go with blessings. Thank you. You're a real rouser, you are. Oh, cousin. Don't stop. Hey. Not like you need it. What? Well, and you do? Oh, I'm sorry I mentioned George. If you were sorry, you'd have kept your mouth shut. Why must you intrude now of all days? I've been trying to tell you. Oh, not this again. If George couldn't handle it, neither can you. Be sensible. You can't make sense of a devil. We hardly know if it is one. I'm sure of what I saw. What do you want me to do about it? Gaining the council's approval to do this was odd enough. Please stay out of it. Barkeep. Mr. Smith? A word? Your Millwood son. Thomas. I don't mean to intrude. You were one of the first to see the ghost, yeah? Hi. What of it? Then you know it's not real. I don't understand. May I? I saw him too, like you did. I, I couldn't see much, but someone was watching. That's the thing about the spectre. It, it watches, then disappears. There, there was a glimpse of it for a moment. It wasn't transparent or devilish, like they all say. I'm sorry. No, it's all right. Continue. It was a sheet with eyes. I couldn't make out their colour. 
and none of them believe you. Why would someone betray our community like that? What fucking right do they have? I'm sorry about George. He was kind to me. You were kind to us. Did a lot for us. My family, you know. Your father was a good man too. We don't deserve this. Yeah. Drink. <laughs> well, <laughs> look at you. I'll need it. Where I'm going. Off with the others. North. On my own. You should go. Go on. Get out of here. What happened to joining them? Is this your safe haven? Don't be ridiculous. You should be at home. For? My husband. I should be doing more for you. Call that an apology. Francis! You should be listening to what I have to say. Why? All you do is sit here and drink, day in, day out, weeks on end. You've become delusional. Delusional? <laughs> That's rich. I'm saying you need help. George died at the hands of a demon. You know this. Do I? I came to you that night, William. I told you of the sight I witnessed, and you said you believed me. Yet here you stand, unprepared and helpless. Do not pay me for a fool! I'll do as I please. Tell me, for once, why the origin of such a creature matters. Have you perhaps considered it's not the problem at hand? I see the discomfort in your eyes. You have to understand, I'm doing all that is necessary. Necessary? You're sending men out to die! Listen, please. You and I are on the same side. We are hungry for vengeance and hurt from our losses. But we cannot achieve victory by dueling in the wrong fight. I don't need vengeance. Not for me, and not for George. I just need you to listen. If you truly believe, some spectres running around, a devil incarnate, from the gates of hell, what does it matter? Drink. Go home. I don't care. Just stay out of it. Are you out of ale? I could help, if you'd like. Huh? I'd appreciate it. Busier day than most. I'll say. Most I've had in weeks. Tragic, though. That cheeky fucker Girdler's after. Keeps getting in the way. I shall not be over soon. Here's hoping. Do you believe in spectres, Lawrence? Spectres? All men in cloaks. I'm more concerned with what's happening in France. I say war is the least of our concerns. Eh, maybe you're right. They can fight spectres out there. So long as they don't bring them in here. 
You're surfing in any of us. You got a weapon. I could pull that sheet off and you'd be done for. Or we could just go our separate ways. You leave everyone alone, no one gets hurt. Myself. Like you did last night. I saw the tap. And uh, what of the Millwood family? Stricken with grief. Talks of them leaving. I shouldn't have trusted him. No, you wouldn't have known. At least it appears his death was his own doing. Can you imagine tripping like that over a sheet? Sign of God, perhaps. Mm. No, I can live with that. What now? Mm. Oh, you were right all along. Spectres can haunt us now. 